Imagine being able to pick up the basics of a new language in just a few weeks, or maybe you're trying to learn three different areas of mathematics because you're a college student. Perhaps you're trying to learn a little bit of physics. In this video, I'm going to show you techniques that you can use to master insane learning. I am the Math Sorcerer, and this is my YouTube channel. If you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing today. Before learning anything, you want to set clear goals. You want to know what you want to learn. If you want to learn one subject, it's pretty easy, but if you're trying to learn two or three different subjects, then you wanna make a point to write that down somewhere. I prefer to write it down physically on a piece of paper and keep it near my work area. This way, every day when you wake up, you're on track and you see what you're trying to learn. You need to stay focused and being reminded on a daily basis of what you're trying to learn keeps you in that focus. So set those clear goals. And again, it can be one subject, two subjects, or three, or even more. Just realize that the more things you try to learn at once, the more effort it's going to take. At the same time, I think it's a very good idea to at least pick two things to learn because being able to go back and forth between distinct topics can actually help your brain and can help keep things a little bit more interesting, especially when things get harder because the more you learn, the harder it becomes to learn the same subject. Topics become more and more advanced the further you progress. When you set your goals, it's really important that you have reasons for learning these subjects. So if you're trying to learn something and you don't have a good reason to learn it, it's going to be a very difficult road because you're going to encounter periods of adversity. You're going to encounter situations where you want to give up. So having a really good reason for setting those goals is absolutely critical. So make sure that when you pick your goals, you have a very, very strong reason for learning these particular subjects. And I can't emphasize this enough. Having an important reason for learning something is critical because the fact is most people give up after a few days. If you want to stick to this and become an insane learner, you need solid reasons for learning whatever it is you're trying to learn. Teach yourself. So by teach yourself, I mean that when you're studying something, you want to pretend like you're teaching someone else, but you're really teaching yourself. For example, if you're learning mathematics and you're reading a math book, you want to sit down and write down notes. And those notes should kind of be like the notes that you would deliver to a classroom lecture. One of the reasons teachers seem like gods in the classroom is because they teach other people. You learn through teaching. And so by teaching yourself or pretending you're teaching other people and writing down those fake classroom notes, it's going to make you better. Some people say that you really know something when you can teach it to others. It really helps your understanding when you really focus on the teaching aspect. Teach yourself. Make it a daily habit. By this, I mean you want to do a little bit every day. This is extremely important because if you do a little bit every day over a long period of time, you become a master. As a simple example, let's use mathematics. If you were to do two math problems every single day after 30 days, that's 60 math problems. And not only that, the fact that you're doing them every day gives your brain time to process those problems. If you sit down and you do two math problems every single morning, you might think about those problems throughout the day. Maybe at night you'll think back and think, oh, I did those two math problems earlier in the day. And then the next day when you attack new problems, you're going to think about those old problems and how that information relates to the new information you're doing the next day. So it really, really helps to space out that learning. Make it a daily habit. And again, you want to write this down. If you write down your goals every day when you wake up, you can see what you're supposed to do and you can just do it and you'll feel accomplished and you'll feel good about yourself and you'll feel good about your learning journey. Daily habits are where it is at. Switch between topics. That's right, you want to study distinct things. One of the most common complaints I hear from people in college is that they have to take three different classes and they're all so unrelated. Try to embrace that fact. Try to be happy that you get to study different things because if you do the same thing all day and you spend hours on one subject, it's really easy to burn out. By studying distinct things in your life, you'll be able to become more 
diverse in your learning and you're going to be stronger. You're going to get mentally stronger. It's very different to study philosophy than it is to study mathematics. They are different subjects, people say they're related, but mathematics is not philosophy and philosophy is not mathematics. So by studying different subjects, it really makes a difference. A good example would be studying something like biology, mathematics, and maybe a little bit of physics. There's some relationship between math and physics, but they are different fields and biology is very, very different. So switch up between topics. It makes a big difference. For this reason, I suggest picking at least two things you want to learn. Try to pick more than one subject and it makes it a lot more interesting and a lot more enjoyable and a lot more rewarding. Test your knowledge. So you want to actually test what you are learning. For example, if you're studying biology, you might want to make flashcards and try to memorize certain concepts, ideas, or definitions. If you're studying mathematics, you want to make sure you can actually do math problems without using your book, your notes, or any other resources. That's how you really know. Another way to test your knowledge is to teach someone else or teach yourself by creating those fake classroom notes for a fake class. That really helps you because it helps solidify the ideas in your mind and you're doing it all from memory. Remember, when you're testing your knowledge, you want to do it with no resources. If you have to look at your resources, that means you don't really know it yet. A lot of people would argue that in this day and age, you can just go on Google and look everything up on the internet. That's good, but you still want to use your mind. You're trying to learn. You're not trying to regurgitate. You're trying to put all of that information in your mind. It makes a difference. Learn in different ways. What I mean by this is you want to read, you want to write, you want to speak, you want to listen, and you want to actually do. So whatever it is you're trying to learn, try to involve all of these things. For example, example, if you're doing mathematics, you want to read the mathematics, you want to write out notes for your mathematics, you want to do mathematics and solve math problems. If you're trying to learn a musical instrument, you want to play that musical instrument. Maybe you want to watch some videos. That's where the listening comes in. So try to incorporate various modes of learning because the more ways you learn, the better it is. And different subjects lend themselves to certain ways. For example, mathematics, it's great if you actually do mathematics. Reading is great, but when you actually solve math problems, that's when you really get good at mathematics. Likewise, when you actually play a musical instrument, that's when you really get good at playing that instrument. The more you practice, the better you get, and the more you can learn, you can do it. Embrace the difficulties. It's very, very important to do this because you're going to encounter them. And what typically happens is when you're learning a particular subject, the further you get in that subject, the harder it becomes. For example, let's say you're trying to learn complex variables. That typically starts with just the definition of a complex number, the definition of a modulus, the definition of the argument of a complex number, and then it proceeds. Next thing you know, you've got some calculus so things get harder it takes more effort it takes more time and so you want to make sure that you embrace that struggle embrace the learning and you will learn to embrace it when you make it a daily habit if you do a little bit every day you're going to start to love learning and that's when you really can take it to the next level there are no shortcuts to learning you need to make it a daily habit and you need to be consistent one thing people really struggle with is motivation. It's hard to stay motivated. And by making it a habit, you can actually just study even when you're not motivated. So when you have those clear goals that you set for yourself and you make it a daily habit, you're going to progress. And again, even if you start small, even if you start with, say, doing three math problems a day, that's going to make a difference. Just write it down. And every day when you wake up, just do it. Do those three problems and you're going to see within the course of just a few days how your mind starts to change. Those problems you do or those new words you learn in that language you're trying to learn, they will stay with you. And when you turn learning into that daily habit and you practice all of the things that I've talked about in this video, you are going to master the art of insane learning. You're going to become so much better and your mind is going to feel so much sharper. Do you have any advice for people watching this video? Do you have any learning tips? Lots of people watch these videos from all over the world and they're trying to learn different things, not just mathematics. So every time you leave a constructive comment, it helps people in the world and that's a good thing. We all know learning is hard, it takes time, and again, there are no shortcuts. Now get out there and master the art of insane learning.